Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Turtles in Time Shredder, which is, I know there's been a lot of issue with uh, tracking down NECA products lately, especially the turtle ones. These will be available at specialty shops. So like Big Bad Toy Store, there's a link in the description below, has it up for pre-order, still available as of the time of this filming. I guess it could technically sell out by the time you get there, but they're available on there. You don't have to freak out if you like this. You should be able to find it there. Uh, comic shops, places like that should have it available too, I think, if they so choose. Anyway, this is the Turtles in Time version of Shredder. It's mostly the same figure we saw before with new paint, but also it does have a few new parts, as is very obvious. He's very spiky, very cool looking. Uh, by the way, just want to throw this out there. If you have not played Turtles in Time and you like that old school side-scroller type of game, this is probably one of the best ones ever. And as far as I'm concerned, it is the best Turtles game ever. It's a fantastic game of that variety absolute fun definitely give it a shot uh, anyway you don't care about that probably because you're here for the figure so it's really good there's a uh, one issue we'll have to discuss and I will discuss it and otherwise it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look this guy stands just shy of seven inches to the very top of his hat which makes it uh, 17 and a half centimeters give or take and the aesthetics on this guy are super duper. He is very well saturated. He's a colorful character and it looks very accurate to the game. They obviously did the pixelated paint job. All the parts that are painted have that pixelated paint job. In some of the other figures we've seen from them, I think it was some Predators maybe, they did some regular shading mixed with the pixelation and it didn't quite have the same effect. This has it. I will point out though that some of the pixels are crooked, which is obviously not how pixels work. So they are definitely taking some license there. You can see on the armor here it's crooked on the shins down here they're angled and then obviously same thing for the butt flap so it's not obviously a perfectly faithful recreation of the pixel art but I don't think they mistook that I think they just chose to do it to make it look cool so if you like that fine if you don't like that well hey you're allowed to not like that too but basically everything is painted except for the skin tone which is pretty nice that's all uniform uh, the white painted blades very nicely done I have on this one it looks like it didn't get painted properly, but the rest of them did. So I don't think you guys are gonna have any issues with that. It's all very opaque, very nicely done. The cape is very pink, very saturated, very nicely done. Good material, it sits on the figure nicely. The aesthetics are wonderful on this guy. However, this is not how he came out of the package. Mine came with his hat, and I'm gonna keep calling it a hat because I think it's funny. Uh, it was very farther, much much more rotated back, so it was farther back on his head and he had a whole lot of forehead going. So I had to very, very carefully and with a lot of effort uh, remove the hat from his head. And it is keyed in and glued very well. It was a difficult situation for me. And I cannot recommend you do that. I would recommend you contact NECA's uh, CS and see if they can help you. But I was able to fix mine, more or less. I think it looks pretty good now, but it did come with the head crooked or the hat crooked so you can see if maybe you can pick them out. If you do find them in a shop, you can look around and see if you get one that's not. And Because we've seen this mold before and it was fine, so I don't think it'll be a universal issue. But otherwise, other than that, I don't have any complaints with the aesthetic. And now that it's fixed, I have no complaints with the aesthetic. Uh, I will say, I guess I lied a little bit, there's a little tiny bit of shading around the eyes. And it looks like he has a lazy eye right there if you zoom in you can't really tell and the shading does make it look good so i absolutely love the aesthetic on this guy they nailed it perfect 9.5 out of 10. Uh, i would give it a 10 out of 10 probably if we didn't have the crooked pixels but you may not care about that at all and realistically it's still a 9.5 okay as far as the accessories go neca stepped out of the box a little bit with this guy he's got the energy effects that he that we saw in the game a little bit we have the big reachy hand thing, and that's pretty cool. That snaps onto his arm. I will say I'm not in love with the way they did the paints, but it's interesting because I am starting to actually like p opaque effect parts that are painted with shading. I think it has kind of a cool comic book type look. However, this one, this one doesn't look too bad, but if we go over to the little fireball thing that goes on his hand, not in love with that paint job at all. It's way too gloppy and sparse and not shaded properly. It doesn't have the right look. Um, and I get that they were maybe trying to go for like a pixelated look, but it just looks weird. Not liking that. So I would either go with transparent plastic and not worry about the paint as much, 
or you really have to try really, really, really hard to get the paint to look good. But I do like those and a little bit of repainting would make them look good or you can just live with it and they still look cool enough. We do have his beam saber or lightsaber or energy sword. That's very nicely done. And we have some different hands. We have the two fist hands that come on them in the package, two gripping hands, and then two martial arts or style pose hands, which I think is a good batch of accessories. I'm happy with it. I do wish the effects were painted better, so I'm only gonna give it an eight. Uh, maybe you'll find some that are painted better. Mine just are very splotchy. I still like them, and I like the idea behind them, but splotchy is not good. Okay, so as for the articulation, it's really the same as the previous versions of this mold. We've seen this a few times now. Nothing crazy going on here, but I'll go over it anyway. Uh, the cape is very well articulated. It has an unlimited number of joints. Couldn't help myself. I don't make those jokes usually. Yes, I do. So the head, I'm just gonna pop it off and show you. The neck is a solid piece, no articulation there, but we have a ball peg at the bottom for the head to move and then a straight peg for the head to swivel around on. And so that works just fine. A double ball peg would technically be better, but a straight peg works as long as the first ball peg is good enough. So you'll see, you have your full rotation, of course. And then if he wasn't for the samurai helmet, he would be able to lean around no problem. Doesn't lean back and forward all that much, but it's mostly just because of the samurai shroud. So I think that's okay, it's to be expected. The armor is connected to the torso, so we have regular ball hinge shoulders underneath. Full rotation there, how's the hinge work? Not too stuck, but it is a little bit tight. You probably can get it to go higher up than that. Well, maybe not, they didn't cut the joint very far down. I guess that's about it right there. You might be able to squeak just a tiny bit, but that's still plenty of range, that's okay. Bringing the arm forward does obviously pry this up, so going any farther will be an issue. Doesn't look the best, but other than connecting it to the shoulder, you can't really get around that. Bicep swivel is fine, double jointed elbow is fine. The armor is a soft piece that's on top of the arm, so you can move that around if you desire. Wrist swivel and hinge. Nothing in the torso here, just a waist twist here, nothing special there. For the hips, it's your standard hips, ball hinge hips. Pretty much full on splits because they did put splits or slits in the tunic right there, so that's pretty cool. Bring the legs forward. We still have the floppy joint that has not been addressed. You do get decent range out of them, but it is still floppy. Thigh swivel is in there, that one's stuck. That one is stuck as well. Double jointed knees. No problem. Shin swivel, stuck, and stuck. The armor is a soft piece, you can move that around. For the ankles, they do have an added piece on here, which is new, that will limit the range just a bit, but these are just the ball peg ankles that had minimal range anyway. So you're not gonna get a ton out of that. It does have a decent toe hinge. So once again, the articulation is the sticking point. <laughs> I have filled this review with puns. I do not regret it. Uh, it's not great. The articulation is not great. It'll be good enough and if you take the time to get the joints all working It'll be just fine for you probably but again NECA has focused on the aesthetic rather than the articulation and Once again, you have to decide if that is okay for you I don't think it's a surprise at this point that that is what they go for. I'm okay with it. You can decide for yourself I'll give the articulation uh, 7 out of 10 once you get the joints free it'll pose well enough and that's okay with me as far as the final verdict goes the aesthetic wins this guy for sure he is gorgeous they did such a good job looks nice the accessories are potentially awesome and at least good enough if you don't mind the paint job so i'm gonna give this guy a final verdict of eight out of ten the articulation does hold it back a little bit the accessories could be better but the aesthetic is for sure the the shining point on this figure and the accessories are still pretty good. The articulation will be good enough, so yeah, that's my justification. And if you disagree, you can let me know in the comment section below. If you do agree though, you can let me know that. But you can also give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, or a thumbs down if you didn't. And if you haven't subscribed, well, I urge you to consider it because I have thousands of reviews just like this one on the channel, and I have new ones coming out just about every single day. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.